So the first phrase, you can see the tab up on the screen, is played like so. And you can see I'm using just my first and my third fingers for that, my ring finger. And then we play the same lick an octave higher, starting on the D string. But the phrasing at the tail end is slightly different. So instead of... Greg plays it. Alright, so we have... So on that, we're, again, it's dealing with octaves mainly here, but I'm on the 10th fret on the B string. You've got a little staccato note first, and then a hammer on there as well. And then we've got a little half-step bend at the 14th fret on the uh, first E string, and you're going to bend it and release it three times. Right? And to me, on the recording, it sounds like he kind of strikes it on the last one, but you can play it either way. Just bend it three times and let it fly. Or on that last one, you can pick it again if you want to. It gets quieter as he does it. And then we move to the 10th fret on the B string. So we've got that same hammer on from the 10th fret to the 12th fret on the B string, and then to the uh, 10th fret on the first E string. So we have... Okay, so let me play that nice and slow. You kind of see that on the tab, it's pretty obvious. But those string skips are really nice, right? And it's just, again, it just fits perfectly. It's typical Greg Lake, you know? And then we move to uh, the A minor, E minor, D section of Lucky Man, which is the chorus. And he just kind of outlines those chords with the scales. <laughs> it okay so uh, over the A minor chord we have this he kind of slides down and then over the E minor and we park it on the D chord we do that again with a little slight embellishment and you can play that either way whichever way suits you whoops sorry is the whole solo. So uh, I'll run it by one more time and then uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it and we'll see you real soon. basically an A minor 7th chord, okay? Which is played over the A minor ninth. And what he does is he just sweeps or rakes across it. So you want a little bit of muting back here, okay? Just to uh, dampen the strings a bit. And you just sweep right across that chord. 7th fret on the A string, and then barring the D, the G, and the E strings at the 5th fret. Just give it a nice sweep with a little bit of muting again for some 
percussive attack. And then we move to the seventh fret on the B string. Hit it again, do a half step bend and release. To the seventh fret on the D string. Very cool, healthy dose of reverb like Greg. And then we have, okay, very bluesy, nice and slow. A nice full step bend. And then the next lick is really nice as well. Very bluesy. Um, that should be pretty self-explanatory on the tab. And moving on to the next lick, we've got a pre-bent note, seventh fret on the uh, G string, and you want a full step bend on that and just release it. One more time. And then we've got a quick pull off and hammer on lick. So that's one stroke of the pick for that. And then you'll hear those two notes, five to seven on the D string. So we have. Okay. And then we move back to that same lick that he played before, the second one in line, in fact. And then we move to. And he plays this lick twice, and the second time around, he sort of lays it back a little bit right at the end. So with the two together, it would be... See what I mean by that? He kind of lays back that hammer on a little bit uh, the second time around. And then we've got another sweep over that same chord, but this one isn't quite as long. We're sweeping from the A string right through the D and the G string and then moving to the fourth fret on the G string. But the approach is exactly the same, meaning a bit of muting back here. Then with your second finger, I use my second finger, slide from five to seven on the D string. So we have. Nice, very tasty. Moving to the next lick, we have. just play that all the way through for you. So once again, nice and slow. And then you'll hear him play these harmonics. Okay, so that's the D and the G string at the 12th fret. And then the same two strings at the 7th and then D, G, and B at the fifth fret. Mm -hmm. 